The Onalaska Boys Hockey Program rolling on all cylinders, undefeated 7-0 early in the season. And they're doing it all without their leading scorer. News 8's Nick Ragnar has more. It's the state championship, Onalaska Hockey's first ever appearance. And the Hilltoppers' top scorer, Tyler Rebner, breaks his collarbone. It was really sad and frustrating. Well, it's frustrating, I'm sure. Fast forward to the lead up to this season. With hopes of another deep playoff run, Tyler breaks his collarbone again. Coincidental is what they're telling me. So it was just, it was one of those freak accidents. It was funny because it happened in the same town. So it was the same spot, same bone, same town. So, I mean, you don't expect it to happen again, but to happen it like it did in the same town, it was just interesting. So for now, Tyler is playing a different role than expected coming into his junior season. Give uh, tips to the younger guys, tell them what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing, and let them know that they're doing a good job at what they're doing. Oh, he's, he's become pretty good at filming our games for us and things like that, but he's a little bit more vocal than some, some other guys that we have, so he's not afraid to speak up and kind of help in whatever way he can from a system standpoint. But Tyler's season on the ice isn't a complete loss. He now recovers with the hopes of returning later on in the season. Well, it'll certainly help. Um, he's a great scorer. Uh, just another weapon that we can add to the offense. It'll be a good addition. I mean, obviously he's going to help things. Everyone will be excited for him to come back. So maybe that'll help kids work even harder too. So whether you catch him filming games or on the bench during practice, one thing is for certain, Tyler Ebner just wants to play. I haven't finished a, a, a season yet. I didn't finish my freshman year due to a hamstring injury. So I, I mean, I just want to be out there. Even if it's just conditioning, I, I want, just want to be out there. Reporting in Onalaska, Nick Ragner, News 8 Sports. Thank you, Nick. Tyler received word from his doctor that he might be able to return to the ice here in January.